Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, when you get a chance, uh, check this documentary out on, on All Black. Basically, you can find it on basically, you know, Fire Stick. You know, um, it's pretty much a network, a streaming network that pretty much feature uh, films that primarily, you know, cast black people in the lead. For the most part, the programming on there is solid, but it still has that essence of, uh, you know, feminism to a certain degree, which, you know, at the end of the day, um, everybody knows that's the flavor that's going on, whether you like it or not. And I can tell you right now, the flavor to me gives me a bad taste in my mouth but nevertheless um it's a great documentary and it gives you another perspective of michael bibbins and you know basically his time from you know growing up in you know boston because keep in mind michael bibbins really wanted to be a basketball player you know and i've seen michael bibbins hoop you know michael bibbins is a solid basketball player you know but Due to the fact that at the time Michael Bibbins isn't very tall, Michael Bibbins might be around five feet seven or something, maybe five feet eight at the most. You know, um, they felt he wasn't tall enough to play in the NBA. I'm pretty sure he had second thoughts about that once he saw Spud Webb and Muggsy Bowles and then Allen Iverson, but it's a very good documentary you know basically how he met his wife and along the way and just some of the trials and tribulations he went through and then something that he said that was really pleasant to hear basically when he put out the group another bad creation uh basically you know they went like possibly double platinum i remember i had that uh tape you know with Aisha on it and I mean it was bubble gum but you know at the time I was like man it's, what 16 17 when that came out so you know at the end of the day it was cool for something back then and um Michael Bibbins basically took their money and in, in, invested it and basically I guess put it in some kind of trust fund or something and when they turned 18 uh, them dudes had a little bit of money and the dudes basically said, hey, I had money to take care of my family and, and buy my mama a house and all that kind of stuff. So that was cool. And the thing that this is a brother who got dead wrong by the industry who could have went on and fo followed that same pattern of basically fucking over artists. He's decided to do right by his artists. I didn't hear nothing bad about boys to man saying that michael bivens screwed them on money and all this kind of stuff it's kind of like what i heard about jermaine dupree you know basically people saying that jermaine dupree never screwed them as far as money went and all that kind of stuff so there is the exception when you hear about you know guys like russell simmons and and you know the babies of the world and a few other people so it just shows that they are some good brothers out there, and I wish more people would follow suit like Michael Bibbins and Jermaine Dupree, you know, to think, you know, you could do these documentaries and 30 years later, you still got dudes speaking highly on these dudes and all that kind of stuff. So that's cool. And it's something else that I found out about Boys to Man. I'm going to do a, uh, a video about that maybe another day in time, but that video is coming soon. Because sometimes you can watch a documentary and it can help you make a whole bunch of different, you know, videos, breaking down videos. And like I said, I thought the the documentary was done very well, really insightful. Um, you learned information that you didn't know about Michael Bibb at the time. And the funny thing was... Um, during the whole BBD era and all this kind of stuff, I always saw that in Michael, Michael Bibbins, you know, I always thought Michael Bibbins out of everybody in the group. He seemed like he was more of the street savvy dude as far as the look, 
And I ain't gonna lie to you, that 90s look, that was kind of cool. You know, with the graffiti pants and all that kind of stuff. You know, compared to what some of these dudes wear now, good lord. Well, I ain't even gonna go into that, but that's another video for another day. But if you get a chance, check it out. It's a real good documentary. But anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.